Hey guys, Damon D'Amico here, D'Amico Dance Company in Houston, Texas. This is Jessica Miller. And she's gonna help me out with what we covered in our Advanced West Coast Swing class on July 12th. We had a whole lot of fun with this. It's kind of funny. Uh, recently, uh, someone posted a video on Facebook and tagged me in it. And it was a, a dance that I had with a former student of mine, Kara. And uh, she's a real sweet lady. I haven't seen her in quite some time. And we danced back in 2009, and I'm watching the video, and I'm like, man, that's some cool stuff. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't even remember doing that stuff. <laughs> anyway, so a couple of these that we decided to do for class are just really cool, and uh, I thought I'd go back and uh, do a little throwback because they're still relevant today. So here's what we ended up doing. I'll go through the whole sequence first. We did a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, Eight. And that's what we ended up doing for class. So I'll talk about how to make that stuff work. First thing, and I'll do it from this same side to start, we're doing an open whip. We like to call it a hustle whip. In some communities, they call this an open whip. So I want to start with one hand and ask for the other hand. Very important when you do an open whip that your hands are wide. So you don't want to have your hands go narrower than your partner uh, at any time. And a lot of times when the guys bring a lady in, they'll bring their hands together and you lose control of the lady. So you want to constantly keep your hands a little bit wider than the lady. We are using a J-hook lead here because it is still the preferred method worldwide to get the lady to actually do what you're asking. So I'm gonna move her forward on the one, backing up, one, two. I will take my right foot slightly across my body, which we do not teach as a basic whip. On a basic whip, I have the gentleman bring their right foot underneath them so that the lady gets to be really stretchy on a whip. However, we normally take the lady in clothes. So when we're gonna do an open whip or a hustle whip, uh, we're gonna be four feet apart instead of two feet apart. And for that reason, instead of bringing my right foot underneath me on the two of a hustle whip, I step slightly across my body as I turn so that it eats up a little bit more slack. We're gonna do a three and straddle four. Hands are still wide. I'm gonna keep the arms kind of straight. You don't want the arms to get bent here. I'm gonna take my right hand down and my left hand up for five, six, and I am off the slot right now. And I'm gonna do a seven and eight and stay off the slot. So when I finish here, she already sees that she's gonna move, move down this side. So it's really not necessary for you guys to square up to her. It also makes a hammerlock uh, uncomfortable and less cool in this dance. So don't square up to her or move the single file. Go ahead and stay off the slot. Then from here, this next part comes from an older move called a scenario, which came from a couple from way back in the day that did this cool move that everybody freaked out over and it's kind of disappeared. So let's bring it back because it's a really cool element that most people don't do. So from this hammerlock, I'm gonna move down the floor with her on one. And you wanna be sure when you do this, I see a lot of guys separating the hands and asking the lady to do something on the one. Don't have her do anything. Keep this the same and step the same distance as her on the one. Now I need her to be able to step on the two. So what I'm gonna do is take the palm of my right hand, which is now facing the floor, and I'm gonna turn my palm out. What that does is it allows the lady's body to dance into this part of my arm, and this is wrapped around her side. When you leave your palm facing down, this stops the lady from transferring weight on the two, so I'm giving her a little bit of extra room. I call this a golf elbow. So my elbow is coming across my body to my center. So from here, I do a one, bring my feet together too. And then I'm gonna lower this left hand and I'm planning to take the lady's bicep, tricep with my right palm that you can see facing the camera now. So I hold this down and I do a three and four. I take my left hand to the shoulder. You can see that I let my right hand carry around far enough that Jessica got to walk a tightrope here on the four. You don't wanna short sheet her and keep her from stepping on that foot. Go ahead and let her step on it. And as I do my four, I step across her. So I did a drop across, three and four. And then I'm gonna slide this down to the wrist. I'm gonna give her a small little lead to back up on the five as I go under. And I'm gonna do a six. We're gonna do a seven. I step across in front eight and do an anchor for one and two. I'm gonna do this from this side. One, two, three, and four. I'm off the slot, stay off the slot. Seven and eight. One golf elbow, two three and across on four, lift five, across six, turn seven, step eight, and anchor step. That left us with a cross hand hold. For this next part, this is a normal one, two, three, and four for the lady, but I have to stop her slightly under rotated. I don't want this prep to get too big. There's gonna be too much slack in the power steering. So I back up on the one, give her a tiny prep and take this up a spiral staircase. I'm taking four walking steps. That's one, two. 
I do a three, four, as the lady does her normal three and four, and I'm catching her right away. So when I got rid of Jessica's right hand as it came down, I immediately found her side because the ladies are programmed to finish here four and step back for an anchor on five and six. I wanna catch her with her feet apart on the four. I'm gonna send her out for and five, six is what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna water down this prep, keeping it a little bit more linear. I'm gonna back up one, two, three, four. She did one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna do a five, six while she does and five, six. I'm gonna do that without stopping. She does one, two, three, and four, and five, six. And from the other side, one, two, three, and four, and five, six. So all the way through one more time. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. And that's what we ended up doing in the advanced class. Thank you so much, Jessica. I appreciate all your help. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hit the little thumbs up button down there. It means a lot to us. Subscribe to our channel and share it. There's a share button there, too. Click on share. It pops up the link. Copy, paste the link. Send it out on Facebook to all your friends and get more people involved in West Coast Swing. Thanks so much.